Tutorial Video 1 – Getting Started with LD250 Hello! Thank you for choosing Omron's LD250 Mobile Robot to support your material transportation needs. With a payload of 250 kilograms, the LD250 is the strongest and newest addition to Omron's LD series of mobile robots. We have prepared a video to help you get started. In this video, we will show you how to do the initial setup after unboxing the robot. For important safety information, please refer to the Mobile Robot LD Safety Guide. What's inside the box? The LD250 will come in one package. Inside the package, there will be the robot itself, the battery, and this starter kit. In the starter kit, there will be the robot's two antennae, the keys to the HMI, together with these items. The LD250's battery comes in a separate box inside the package. First, let's add the battery to the LD250. Open the rear panel of the LD250 to access the secure battery compartment. Lift and slide the battery into the battery slot. Connect the wires to the battery. Close and latch the battery compartment and rear panel. Press the on button on the HMI panel and wait for the robot to start up. Getting LD250 on the network. The robot will be receiving commands through the wireless network. So next, let's get the LD250 onto your wireless network. First, set up a static IP on your laptop. Open the maintenance port. Connect your laptop to the maintenance port using an Ethernet cable. Connect to SetNet Go 1.2.3.4. Connecting to the robot's IP will provide you access to the SetNet Go interface. The SetNet Go is an operating system that resides on the LD Mobile robots and the SetNet Go interface will provide you the access to the robot's network and other administrative functions. Go to the Network Settings section and configure the robot to connect to your wireless network. Pick a static IP for your robot in your network and apply settings. Set up your user accounts with a username and password. Click Add and disconnect the wire. Connecting LD250 to Mobile Planner. Omron's mobile robot user interface is called Mobile Planner. Mobile Planner enables customers to configure the robot, create and edit maps, and make the robot do tasks and much more. The interface is designed to be user-friendly and efficient, which reduces the learning curve and the time needed for deployment. Mobile Planner application with full functionality is designed to be used on a Windows operating system. Make sure your device is on the same wireless network that you used in the previous section. Open the Mobile Planner application. Connect using the robot static IP you made in the previous section. Log in with your username and password. Configuring LD250 on Mobile Planner. Before using your robot, it needs to be safety commissioned to make sure that the main safety laser and emergency stops are working properly. So next, we will show you how to perform safety commissioning with Mobile Planner for the LD250. Go to Robot, Safety Commissioning via the Mobile Planner taskbar and follow the instructions. A wizard will help you easily go through this process. Now let's set up a map file for the robot. You can use the mobile planner on your laptop to drive the robot, or you can use a joystick that can be purchased as an option. You can use the same joystick for all the LD models. When you are done scanning the area, you can save the completed map. Set up the robot's identifier. 
This will be the robot's name, visible on its HMI and on a fleet. Then the robot will reboot. Use the Localize button to do an initial placement of the robot in your map. A localization score will show how accurately your map matches what the robot is currently sensing. Your LD250 is ready to go. Now you can test drive your LD250 in drive mode using the Teleop keys in Mobile Planner. Then to test autonomous driving, set up a test goal on your map and send your robot to that goal. This concludes the video Getting Started with LD250. In the next video, we will go over how to add an LD250 into a mixed fleet of mobile robots so that you can enhance and optimize your automated material transport system.